Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto, and today we're going to be working on this 2011 to 2016 Ford F-250 driver's side fender removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And if you guys need this particular fender for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so off camera, I'm going to go ahead and take off this front bumper right here. It's an aftermarket one, but we're going to have to get to the bolts on the front of the fender. So we're going to take that off. All right, so now I got that heavy duty front bumper off. We do need to get to this side right here. So there's a bolt right here that's going to be taken off. And then we're going to do first, actually, right underneath the fender liner. Or the, yeah, the fender line has come off, but underneath the fender there's like these, uh, let me see what size that is. So that size underneath the uh, fender liner is a 732. So we got bolts behind the wheel right there. Follow it along so you're going to have all those bolts coming along underneath the fender. Right there. And then we're going to go ahead and take off the fender liner also. So there's going to be bolts right there, bolts, oh that's not a bolt, so there's a bolt right there and a bolt over there that we got to take off. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off over here, there's one right here also but this one doesn't have it. Right, so take that one off, this one, let me see, I got to get a, uh, a shorter socket. So I can get onto there. All right, so that mud flap is off. So on the mud flap, this one's missing it also, but there's gonna be another bolt right there, okay? So it looks like underneath here is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts that we need to take off. So these bolts right here, guys, it's gonna be size eight, one, two, and I believe another one down here. So, be a size eight right there. They look like this. And just like follow the fender liner, guys. See how the fender liner goes right underneath here? There's gonna be another one just right here. That one's gone. So there's one right here and then another one right here, but I guess someone's been working on this car and forgot to put that in there. So let's see if the fender liner. So once those bolts are off, I believe we can just go ahead and take this fender liner down. So this is like an electronic system right here. So we can just leave it like that dangling. And then right back here. All right, so right back here guys. You see this plastic cover, this thing right here, we're going to need to take that off and we should just be able to pull it off. So this one right here, this fender uh, cover right here, it's a side panel cover. It's glued on there but for some reason this one is not so it's just held on by clips. So it looks like this comes right off. So you guys can see there's glue right here. It's like a foam material. So this one didn't wasn't held on by that, but it looked like it worked really well in any case. So this one was just held on by these clips right here. And we just pushed those back in and it held it. Alright. So now we're gonna go back here again. If you go look right there, there's gonna be a bolt. I believe that's gonna be a I'm gonna say it's a 10 maybe, but let me double check. What size that is? No, it looks like it's gonna be a size. Yep, that's size eight right there. You guys can see it's just like right here. And it looks like that. And then right there underneath the uh, fender, there's going to be two bolts. Right 
Again, that's gonna be an eight. So we gotta remember this thing right here was in between here. So we gotta put it back right there where we found it. I guess that lines up like the fender itself. All right, so the tape, we're gonna put tape on there. We're just gonna go put tape alongside this fender right here or this door right here so it doesn't get um, messed up when we do take off the fender. So when you guys open the door, there will be a bolt right there. You see, right side of the, uh, where the side view mirror is, right on the side, there's gonna be a bolt right there. That's also gonna be an eight. Let's see how we take that off. All right guys, so if you open the door completely open, go ahead and fold the mirror in. Get your eight millimeter, and you should be able to go right there and take this bolt off. And there we go. So as you guys can see on this cover right here, there's this cover right here and all I did was pull up on it and it released the uh, tab. So there's no bolt right here. I think the rest of the bolts are on top. So you guys can see there's going to be more eight, eight, and then another eight. So it's going to be three of them. Okay, that's not an eight. I think that'll be a 10 now. 10 right here. So 10 millimeter. Okay. There's going to be three of them. Okay, so before we take the fender off, this is going to be this thing right here that we're going to have to pry up and then put that to the side. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Actually, there's one more right here. So there's another bolt right here. Okay, so that's another 10. So it looks like we have to take off the headlight. So we're going to go ahead and take off the grill first. So if you guys go back here, there's going to be a 10, mm, uh, 10 millimeter right here, I believe. Yeah, that's a 10. A 10. A 10 back here. And then another 10 right here. So there's going to be four of these right there. So it looks like it's held on just by clips, but let me see if I can just take it off. This is really rusted back here. The grill itself is held on by these clips right here. It's gonna be one, two, three, four five and all you do is get a fly head and you come back here and press down on this and then pull the grill back and that should snap the grill um, off of the uh, actual clip okay so now we have this headlight right here it's gonna be more 10 millimeters right there well, it's kind of an overkill but it's the only one that I have so it's gonna be a bolt right here take that off and another one right here. Take that off. So these bolts look like this right here. There's two of them on the side of the headlight. All right, so the last bolt on the headlight's right here. Go ahead and take that off. Again, that's gonna be a 10. So let me just recap the headlight because this one's missing a bolt. So there's one up here two over here that you need an extension on that's going to be all 10 millimeters and then this one right here that's also 10 millimeter so now we should be able to there we go all right so let's see what we okay let's see if this is held on by anything else okay so yeah so right here guys 
there's no more bolts but then the headlight was kind of preventing us from moving it out of the way so we had to take those headlight off so now it's a lot easier to take off this fender open the door and then you can just go ahead and slide that fender off okay you know what guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to take off this emblem right here so you guys can see this is clips right here and all you do is like kind of press on the back of it like that and then underneath so underneath all i'm doing is getting my fingers in between here and kind of lifting up on it so whenever that clip disengages this thing doesn't pop back in Whew. there you go up front is this thing right here again just use your fly head and press down on that And then this one just kind of pull or push it through, guide it. Alright guys, stop right there. You guys gonna need a fender to complete this installation. And we got you guys at Remo.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source where we ship these fenders already to color match your vehicle. So this installation is gonna be a breeze. Let's go ahead and get started finishing up this installation. So, this goes right here, and this thing goes, oh, just like that, alright. So we're going to go ahead and get this fender right here, we're going to slide it in first, in there, alright, so then line up the holes. Right there. I should have gotten one of these bolts, but I thank God it's like really close to me. Because I'm doing this by myself. Go ahead and put that bolt right there. And I should hold that fender together so it doesn't fall. I'm just putting this on loose, okay? It's not tight or anything. This one goes in here. So these things right here go behind the fender. So I guess that acts as a spacer. I'm gonna go underneath here. All right, so this thing right here goes underneath there. Behind the fender, I'm gonna put this in. And this thing goes back here. So it's not on there really tight right now. Just hand tightening it. So now I'm gonna go back here. Let's see if I can get you guys. You guys see the fender? See how this fender right here is in front of that bracket? If you don't put it in front of that bracket, it doesn't fit correctly. Now put this bolt in there. So the first one I'm going to tighten up is these bolts right here, okay? But I'm going to line up the door first. Let's take off this tape. It's actually lined up pretty well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to line up the bottom piece first. So, man, that's a pretty good lineup right there, okay? So the gap is even. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one up right here. So I'm gonna tighten up the bottom one. So you guys can see the line. It's flush and then use your hands. It's flush. Go ahead and tighten that up. Yeah. And there we go. That's flush. I'm just gonna see if the door hits it. Nice. Right, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one right here in. Also. Nice. Nice, nothing moved. Okay, everything's still flush. 
So now right here, I'm going to put that in. Open that door. Go in there. Let's make sure you guys are all right. So, go in here. Tighten up that bolt. Good. All right. So we have a ten right here. This one right here. Put that into place. So you guys have these prongs on your headlights right here, just lined up with the holes. There we go, look at that. So far everything's pretty smooth. Put this bolt up here. So now we have these right here. So remember you guys have two right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten up those bolts right there, but my hood is kind of broken. But usually whenever you guys do this, you're gonna go ahead and line it up with this one right here. Put this back on, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put that cover back there. Remember, it's just, it's just on by clips and also, this thing right here, this foam thing, you can buy that at the local hardware store. So we're gonna put that in. All right guys, so the next step is this fender liner. So this fender liner, as you guys can see, there's like a lip right here. This fender liner right here goes in there. So inside the fender. I'm gonna do that first, that's the easiest thing to do. Send this over there. Uh, go ahead and put some bolts in there. So uh, remember, it's going to be the eight. There. Then you guys have this fender liner. So I like to hand tighten it instead of like just putting the impact gun on it because you might strip the bolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in first because the bulk keeps coming off. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the grill right there. So remember, those clips go inside these holes right here. So we got to line them up, okay? Once they're lined up, they should clip into place and then go ahead and put those bolts back into place. There we go. All right guys, so the finishing touch will be this F250 emblem. Just like that. All right guys, so that's how you install a 2011-2016 Ford F250 Fender. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys.